Good day everyone. Didiscuss natin yung paano nga ba kunin yung future value of simple annuity 2. But before we discuss paano kunin yung future value, kailangan at this point alam muna yung tinatawag na simple annuity 2. Kasi may hihirapan tayong pumili ng formula kung hindi natin alam yung ang iba't ibang klase ng annuity. But first and foremost, dapat alam natin yung annuity mismo, di ba? So when we see annuity, it is a sequence of equal payments made of equal intervals of time. Ibig sabihin, ito ay hulugan. Okay? Maghuhulog ka the same payments at the same interval. Ibig sabihin, kung naghuhulog ka monthly, 1,000, the next month, 1,000, then the next, next month, 1,000 ulit. Okay? Kung naghuhulog ka yearly, ng 10,000, next year, 10,000. So the same payment. At the same time, the same yung kanyang payment intervals. So, that is annuity. Okay? So, paano nga ba malalaman na isang problem ay simple annuity due? Okay? Simula natin sa simple annuity. Pag sinabing simple annuity, uh, let's say for example, we have this problem. Sabi niya dito, the future, find the future value at the end of the payment period. So, ang hinahanap ay future value. Now, payments of 2,000 pesos are made at the beginning of each year for 4 years with interest at 5% compounded annually. So, kung mapapansin mo, magbabayad daw siya uh, each year. So, yearly. no Yearly yung kanyang pagbabayad. Pero yung conversion period, no, yung after ng word na compounded, compounded annually, okay, papa, mapapansin nyo, yearly din, no? Annually means yearly. So, each year and annually. Kapag parehas yan, yun ang tinatawag nating simple annuity. Now, kapag sinabi niya magbabayad siya monthly, tapos yung conversion period niya is compounded annually, magkaiba yun. Hindi na yun simple annuity. Ang tawag na dun ay general annuity. Okay? Ulitin ko, yearly yung pagbabayad, yung kanyang conversion period is compounded annually. So, the same tawag dyan, simple annuity. Now, meron tayong tinatawag na annuity due and ordinary annuity. Ano namang kaibahan ng annuity due sa ordinary annuity? Kapag annuity due, magbabayad no? at the beginning of each uh, payment interval. Okay? Ito yung tinatawag na annuity due. Kasi meron ding tinatawag na ordinary annuity. Pag sinabing ordinary annuity, at the end naman ng uh, payment interval. So, kapag ganito yung ating um, problem, no? simple annuity due, ito yung ating formula. So, the future value is equal to R times 1 plus J raised to the power of N minus 1 divided by J times 1 plus J. Tandaan ito kasi itong formula na to ay iba. No? Kapag kayong uh, problem ay hindi siya annuity due or hindi siya simple annuity due. So, dapat alam mo unang-una kung ang problem ay simple annuity due. Okay, so what is F? So, F, this is the future value. Pag sinabing future value, ito yung pera mo at the end of the payments, no? At the end of the payment period. Next, Yung R naman is the regular payment of the present value. Ibig sabihin, kung annually yung pagbabayad mo, magkano yung binabayad mo annually yung yearly? No? That is yung R. Kung monthly naman, magkano ang binabayad mo monthly? Okay? So, that is the regular payment. Now, J, interest rate per period, meron tayong formula to find the J kasi hindi siya automatic na makikita sa problem. So, we need to solve first the J. So, how to find the J? Uh, you find yung I divided by M. Yung I tsaka M makikita yan sa problem. What is I? The interest rate. Yung interest rate, iyan yung my percent. Kung 5%, 6%. Yung M naman, conversion period, no? Paano natin matatandaan kung conversion period? Yung after na word na compounded. Okay? 
uh, merong compounded quarterly, compounded annually, compounded monthly. So, kung compounded annually, 1 ang M mo, no? Kung compounded quarterly, 4 ang M. Kapag compounded monthly, 12 ang M. Okay? Kapag semi-annually, 2 yung M natin. Okay? Next, the number of payments, okay? So, we have the formula to find the number of payments kasi hindi mo agad ito may kita doon sa problem. N is equal to M times T. Okay? So, again, M, yung after ng word na compounded, kung quarterly ba siya, annually, semi-annually. T naman, okay, that is our term or time kung gaano katagal na maghuhulog. So, let's back to our problem. Find the future value at the end of the payment period. Payments of 2,000 pesos each are made at the beginning of each year for 4 years with interest at 5% compounded annually. So, we have the formula. So, isa-isahin natin yung ating uh, variables. So, of course, yung future value, yan yung ating hinahanap. Kasi sabi niya, find the future value. Now, what is R? Ito yung ibabayad mo every payment interval. Magkano? Payments of 2,000 pesos. So, 2,000 pesos ang babayad mo. Okay? Yan. Uh, J. So, kanina sabi natin, J is equal to I over M. What is I? Is the interest rate. That is 5%. No? Pag ginawa natin decimal, yung 5% at 0 0.05. What is our M? Okay, sabi ko kanina, yung M, yung conversion period, uh, makikita mo yan after na word na compounded. We have compounded annually. Pag annually, that is 1. Okay? So, therefore, our J is 0 0.05. Okay? Kasi over 1 yan eh. Pag dinivide natin yung 0, 0 0.05 sa so 1, still 0 0.05. So, mas madali ito, no? Next, we also have the N. So, N is equal to M times T. What is our M? That is 1 times yung term. Gaano katagal? Magbabayad 4 years. So, 1 times 4, so our N is 4. Okay, so we can now substitute on our formula. So, copy F. What is our R? Ito yun, that's 2,000. Times, we have 1. What is our J? 0 0.05. Ano yung N natin? That's 4 minus 1 over our j ulit is 0 0.05 times 1 plus what is our j 0 0.05 so we have 2000 unahin natin tong nasa loob ng parenthesis ano so what is 1 plus 0 0.05 that is 1.05 raised to 4 minus 1 over 0 0.05. Okay, then we add this one, that is 1.05. Okay, next, we have 2,000. So, raise natin yung 1.05 to 4. Pag ni-raise natin yan, 1.215. Zero six two five, then copy minus one, copy yung zero point zero five. Okay, you use scientific calculator. Per actually, kahit hindi nyo gawin itong pinapakita ko dito, ano, kasi ginawa ko step by step, automatic yan sa calculator kapag scientific, pwede nyo makompute yan. Okay, uh, then times one point zero five. Okay, uh, I think we have to erase this one. Dito tayo pupunta, no? Okay, so lagyan lang natin ng arrow, no? Ibig sabihin, uh, pabalik tayo, baka malito. So, we have F, 2,000. So, 
1.2155625 minus 1, okay, minus nyo yan, then divide nyo sa 0 0.05. So, after nyo subtract, divide nyo sa 0 0.05. So, ang magiging sagot dyan ay 4.310.0125 times, times, we copy this one, 1.05. Okay, then uh, multiply mo lang itong tatlong ito, no? kahit anong unahin mo dyan. Anyway, the same lang magiging sagot yan because you have the same operation multiplication. So you just multiply, ang magiging sagot natin ay 9,051.2625 pesos. Okay, so this is our answer, the future value okay just follow the formula and just follow the steps no alam kong masasagutan mo rin yung problem na sinasagutan mo ngayon so i hope na intindihan mo thank you for watching